Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Valid Mountain Array. In this question, we are given an array of integers and we need to return true if and only if it is a valid mountain array. A valid mountain array is of length greater than 3. There should be only one peak that is only strictly increasing sequence and then a strictly decreasing sequence. It should not have equal values that way it is not a mountain array. The constraints are low. As it is an easy question, we directly jump on to the coding part and see how we can solve it. We'll discuss that side by side when we code. So as we know that the length of the array should at least be 3. That means all the values less than 3 will be not a valid value. So we'll directly return false. Then we need to find the strictly increasing sequence. So uh, we'll start off looping. We'll check the current value with the next value and there can be three cases in that. It can be increasing, equal or decreasing. If it is decreasing, we need to break the loop. If it is equal, we just readily return false. And if it is increasing, then we do not do anything and just keep moving forward. So we need to check that the value of i, if it is greater than the previous value. That means the decreasing sequence has started. We, we are incrementing it so that the next time we need check, we start checking from the next value because there should be at least one value increasing. And if the value of the previous and the next are equal, that means it is not a valid mountain and we directly return false. Now, once we are out, it can only be if we have found an increasing sequence and a strictly decreasing sequence has started. There can also be a case that the array has only the strictly increasing sequence. So now we will loop again till the end of the array. So if the current value is greater than or equals to the previous value, then it cannot be a mountain array. Otherwise, we just continue moving forward. So we check the previous value if it is less than or equals to the current value, then we simply return false. So if we have reached the end of the array, that means all the conditions got satisfied and it is indeed a mountain array. Let's run this code. So it's giving the right result. Let's test this for this value. Also giving right result. Let's test this for the second example and also working fine. Let's test this logic for both the strictly increasing and strictly decreasing sequence only. It should give false. It is given and let's now test it for strictly decreasing sequence. Now it gives a wrong answer and that's why we took this example because uh, there is one condition that we missed. The one condition that we missed over here is now, if there is an array that is strictly decreasing, then the loop breaks in this first if loop and the i becomes 1. When the i becomes 1, all the values will be in decreasing sequence, but there should be at least one pair which gives an increasing sequence as there is no strictly increasing sequence in this. The smallest increasing sequence should be at least of 2 length. So, the decreasing should start from at least the index 2. So i should be at least 2 to start. We can say if the i is less than 2 over here, we can directly return false. Now when we run this code, it gives us proper result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.